Hello, been a while. Today we're going to look at something a little different from Transformers. Instead of looking at a figure, we're going to look at the Transformers series. So let's go to Transformers G1. Everybody knows, well any fan of Transformers G1 knows that Transformers G1 ended in North America with the Rebirth three-part me saga. But, was that really the end? No! In Japan, Rebirth was removed and exchanged with Transformers Headmasters. We're not looking at Headmasters because I haven't seen one episode of Headmasters because I haven't been able to find it on DVD. So today we are looking at Transformers Master Force. Which I have over here. On DVD. Now available wherever DVDs are sold. I found my copy at Best Buy a while ago. Transformers Master Force stars three sets of Transformers. The Pretenders, Headmaster Juniors, and Godmasters. Well, first I'm going to look at, I'm going to explain what Pretenders are. Pretenders are actually introduced in the pilot episode. Yeah. Pretenders are Transformers that for one reason or another, in the toy line, have an alternate form. As well as their vehicle in robot mode. So now their shell, in this case, for the Autobots, it's a human form. In the Decepticons case, however, the Pretenders took the form of monsters in Master Force. The Autobots are led by Metal Hawk, or as he calls himself, just Hawk, and he's in human form. Landmine, Cloudburst, Diver, aka Wave Rider. That's actually an interesting name. Sometimes in his subtitles, they use the American name and the Japanese name. And they're also later joined by Grand Maximus. Fortress Maximus' is little brother, and a headmaster, and a pretender. Now here's the interesting thing about headmasters in Japan. They do not have pilots inside the little robots. In the American cartoon, headmasters had a little alien, or they had an alien or a human piloting a little robot that would become the head for a bigger robot. Oh, that's still the same here, except for the little robot. It's actually the head. There's actually the bigger robot. And the bigger robot is just called a Transtector. So, Fort Max... Er, Bra Grand Maximus' pretender form is actually the head for his Transtector. Now, this comes into play later with Headmaster Juniors, but Grand Maximus does not have a pilot. He's Transformer and he becomes the body. They're the head for the body. The Cybercons, however, don't have as many pretenders, and it's just Bomburst, Skullgrin, and Submarauder, which are a bat creature, some kind of skeletal bull, and I believe what the Japanese call a Gilman. A Gilman, for those who don't know, is pretty much the creature from the Black Lagoon. Later, the Decepticons and the Autobots, after who knows how many fights, actually quite a few episodes, fights, decide it's time to recruit some more. So they, the Autobots kind of reluctantly give three human children, Shuta, Shuta Go, who's been in the series since the beginning, Dad used to work with the Autobots. Cab, a prince from a small island, I believe it was called the Karen Islands, in the show. And Minerva, the daughter of a, a ambassador from France or something. Like that. A strange way she can speak perfect Japanese. Uh, master braces. And which allow them to take on robot forms, sort of, and trans textures of their own. 
to transform with the master braces. So they cross, they cross, so they cross their arms and shout master force. So they do the same thing. And then they, and they are Fangrai, Cancer aka Squeeze Play, and the worst possible pun in all series. Horrible! And then they transform and then they say head on to plug into the giant robot. But, yeah. <clears throat> I hate the pun on horrible. Anyway, er, the and then there are some other normal Autobots and Semigons. On the Autobot side, we also have Six Knights. Basically, the Autobot equivalent of Six Shot, but he's he claims he should be trusted so very easily. Uh, on the Decepticon side, we have Browning and the Seacons, also known as Paradicon, aka King Poseidon in Japanese in the Japanese version. King Poseidon was a nasty bot. He's a Six part combiner, actually five parts, but the sixth part forms gun. And the only one of them that can talk is Snaptrap, aka Turtler, making er, making him a leader of the group. The strange thing is, in the toy line, I saw a review actually of it a while back. I believe the Procon did have robot modes for each of these guys, but they didn't transform. And Browning. Running only one to one scale transformer in the history of anything. It's the size of a child's toy gun. I say toy because he shoots smoke bombs, tear gas, smoke, smoke bombs, tear gas, and a bunch of other stuff. But doesn't really shoot bullets or lasers. Uh, and then we get to the God Masters. Now here's some. Craziness. The Godmasters were initially introduced only on the Decepticon side as Hydra and Buster. Two Decepticon two brothers who joined up with the Decepticons leaders are now leaders who was who later become Overlord. Overlord is actually two Godmasters, Lord Giga and Lady Mega, and they have their own vehicle modes. Actually, have four-way transformers. You have a tank, a jet, a robot mode, and a base mode. Yeah, not that impressive. When you guys another character who's got six. I can't remember. Oh, my God. moment. Later in the series, we meet Ginrai. Now, Ginrai is interesting. Some of these characters actually didn't make it to North America. Even though they weren't released in the TV show, they were released in the toy line. Ginrai is Power Master Optimus Prime. Yeah, so he's delivering... This is an interesting one. He's actually, he was actually delivering a sick dolphin to Wave Rider. And and when his semi truck cab breaks down, so he decides to borrow a loaner from this truck repair shop. And the only one he the guy has available, he's told nobody's been able to keep for more than a couple of days. Yeah, the last guy he took it out was supposed to have it for a week, returned it after two days. He discovers later that that's because it's a Transformer, and those people weren't worthy of becoming Godmasters. And he becomes the first Autobot Godmaster. Then he's joined by Lightfoot, aka Getaway. Slapdash, aka Road King. Interesting thing there. In the dialogue, they call, in the subtitles, it says Road King, and I'm not really sure what it's... Er, sometimes it says Slapdash, but... I'm not sure what they're saying in the dialogue. 
but he's asked for an autograph and he actually signs it Road King in English. And Ranger, a park ranger. <laughs> now there's one Godmaster I haven't mentioned on either side because, well, he's a precursor to the Armada, or the Armada Envoy of Unicron sideways in that he's neither an Autobot or a Decepticon, he's both. His name is Double Clowder or Double Dealer. In the dialogue they just call him Clowder, but yeah, it just reads off Double Dealer when he first transforms. Actually, uh, see, normally Godmasters and Handmasters they either have an Autobot, uh, two, uh, they have two braces. Either, either an Autobot, a set of Autobot braces on their arms, which won't come off. It's, it's not really explained why, but they won't come off. Once they're on. Or Decepticon braces. Double Dealer, on the other hand, has both! One of each. He has his left arm over his right arm, shouts Master Force, he becomes a Decepticon, and then he can turn into an Eagle mode, or his Missile Truck mode. Yeah, he's a Beast mode, he's a Triple Changer. When he crosses his right arm, which has the Autobot brace over the left arm, and shouts Master Force, he can transform into a robot mode, which is his only robot mode in the thing. It was transformation. Double er, the Decepticon does not actually have a robot mode, but sometimes his eagle mode is also known as a robot mode. Now, this goes on. now. There's one more Decepticon I can talk about: Black Zarak. Yeah, crazy name. Black Zarak is actually Scorponok from season here from G1. With a different head. Because, well, apparently his head got blown to pieces or something. The headmasters. <laughs> um, and there's also a mysterious entity known as Devil Z. Devil Z later, per at the end of the series, according to what I found, possesses. Black Zarak. I say what I found because I haven't actually finished watching Master Force yet. And uh, God, God Ginrai, and now powered up Ginrai because he, he actually has two parts to his trans detector, the cab and the trailer. But he also gets later gets a power up from another figure, which we're going to talk about in a minute. God Bomber. Yeah, God Bomber. Originally, it wasn't supposed to have a robot mode. It was supposed to just be a vehicle and power-up armor. Also known as the Apex armor in Japan. Or in North America, sorry. This is called God armor in Japan. But, when brought, or, but in one episode, he's seen transforming into robot mode, and he has a head. Question, where the head come from? Nobody knows. Also, nobody knows, because all the... Transdectors become actual Autobots and Decepticons at the end of the series. What the heck happened to God Bomber? Because God Bomber is still fused to God near to Ginrai, and later gets reformatted in Transformers Victory into Victory Lot Leo. So yeah. Then God Ginrai takes down Black Sarah later. Can I recommend Transformers? Master Force, from a point of view of someone who's never seen a lot of Japanese Transformers series, because there's more. There's Transformers Victory. There's Headmasters. There's there's Beast Wars Second. Beast Wars Neo. The what? The short-lived Transformers Zone. Zone only lasted one episode. That's because the toy sales sucked. They wouldn't make any more episodes. They've been OVA. An original video adaptation. Sometimes they use the one shot for animated series. Sometimes that's all we get. Yeah. So, can I recommend Transformers Master Force? Yes! If you buy Master Force, Headmasters, or Victory, you should definitely check them out. I believe somebody on YouTube has 
some videos, but I would more recommend picking up the DVDs because with YouTube's guidelines, you're never you never know when they're gonna be taken down. Trust me. Plus, it's a bunch of clips. You wanna watch the whole episodes? Pick up Transformers. Answer for it. And it's sequel. Victory! No, oh, victory! Victory I may very well do someday, but not right now. So, Victory 891 saying, Master Force! See you next time.